Hey everybody, how you doing? Steve with Steve Rotter channel. Just changed the channel from Rotter Studios to Steve Rotter. That's me, so why not? Today I wanted to go over something pretty cool. For those of you who like to do vlogging from the car, I hate that word vlogging. It reminds me of a teenage girl in her bedroom writing a diary. The vlog is a video diary. I like to make things really personal and that's what this channel is about. That's one reason why I changed it to my name. It's all about the photography I've done for 20 years, the video for 20 years, stop motion animation, and even music. I'll include some guitar stuff as well. So it's not just gonna be all about film. There's a lot of channels out there that talk about gear for cameras, and that's all they do. And that's fine. That's how we learn, right? But this is gonna be about me and what I do and how I use that gear for things. Cool piece of gear I just got for my GoPro, but I'm gonna be using it for my iPhone. That's what I'm filming with right now, is the iPhone on a stand, obviously, with a clamp that holds the iPhone in place. I'm gonna suction cup the iPhone to the inside of the car when I'm talking to you guys with a wireless microphone. Another thing I'm gonna be vlogging about which will help a lot of you is how to increase your YouTube channel growth. I am a research fiend and a YouTube fiend and I build websites, I do search engine optimization, I've been studying how things work in the YouTube world for four or five years, yeah, now. So I'm gonna have a playlist dedicated to that, how to get more views, how to take videos, how to edit videos, how to get good sound on videos, all that good stuff. Let's start with this GoPro suction cup. Your GoPro mounts to it. Now what you're gonna wanna do is clean the side of your car. I know you guys are driving the Volkswagen vans, so it's good that they included that picture here. Clean the surface of the suction cup with a damp cloth and then stick it on the vehicle. These things are rated for up to 150 miles an hour. Suction is incredibly strong. This is how you're gonna get cool shots of the side of your car with the wheel well and on top of your hood, on your trunk, for behind you. You should tether your GoPro to a piece of your car. So in case it falls off, which it doesn't, but in case it does, Murphy's Law exists it won't fall into the street and you lose a $500 camera. For my purposes, I'm gonna be suction, suction cupping it to the inside windshield on the passenger's side aimed at me with a microphone, with the iPhone, so I can talk to you guys when I'm driving. I fell right out of the box, look at that. It's made really well. They do have other companies making these that are a third of the price and people love them but i just wanted to go with the gopro brand check the video description for a link on this guy it's made really well really nothing to it basically all you do is like i said take a damp cloth wipe this off you're going to lift this up you're going to stick it to the surface then there's a button here that says press once it's stuck to the surface you're gonna press that button and then clamp it down. I could feel it, how it stuck to my hand. So um, these things stick incredibly well. It comes with a bag, which I don't think I'm gonna use. I mean, but it's nice of them to include so you can put everything in it. So what it comes with is your GoPro suction mount, and then you can mount your camera right onto the base like that, okay? But it also has this which comes apart so you're going to unscrew this take the screw out take this piece out if you wanted to put this in here put the screw in there and then tighten it up now what that's going to give you is the option to stick this here on your windshield and then your gopro will hang lower you can unscrew this and tilt this down too the GoPro will be upside down. It's no big deal. You'll just have to, in post-production, which is editing, you'll just have to take the video and flip it upside down. But what I'm gonna do, gooseneck by GoPro. It's adjustable 
link to this in the video description as well. Let's open it up. I hope I don't need scissors. Because I, I don't want to get up. So it's like a 45 degree angle. Check this out. Let's put it back to how it was. Now GoPro, they've got the top where you can snap your GoPro in right there. But their accessories... They've got where you can snap in accessories it in place. Okay, so now you're gonna stick this on your windshield and then it's 45 degrees and then you can mount whatever you want on here and the GoPro will actually be, look, looks like I have a mustache. Look at that. Meh, meh, you'll never catch me alive, see? it offers more flexibility for filming you can turn it this way you can turn it this way you know let's say that you know you're in the car and the passenger wants to be filmed you can just turn it that way or whatever you want so it offers some flexibility so I like this a lot I have downstairs an accessory that will snap into the top of this with a little screw at the top which is going to be used to mount my um, iPhone mount so I'll have my iPhone clamp I'll put my iPhone in there so I'm gonna use my iPhone to film which is gonna come in really handy because I can connect this microphone right to the iPhone lightning port so I have really great audio and I can just either edit on the phone when I'm done or I can just instantly transfer it to my iPad Pro for editing in LumaFusion where there's tons of awesome GoPro accessories where you can just build and match and create a custom set up for the kind of shoot you want to do. You could put this on a guitar, which is what I'm going to be doing. So you can play a song three times, maybe have a camera like on you playing the song all the way through and then play it again. Put this on the body of the guitar with this. So you're getting like the bridge and then put this closer like on the back of the guitar over the top. So you're getting your fingers picking or fingering the strings. So many cool things you can do with a GoPro. Um, to enhance your filmmaking. So I hope you enjoyed this. When you see me in the car in the future, it'll be with this guy and this guy and the iPhone 7 and the GoPro. I'm going to teach you how to make money with your YouTube videos. I'm going to teach you how to make money with affiliate marketing. And everything I know I'm going to teach you guys. Well, not everything. Check out the video description for what gear I use. And subscribe because we've got a lot of things going to go on. A lot of things are going to go on, kids. See you later.